Hi friends, this is Tracy Brown, your somatic nutrition dietitian and eating disorder and body image expert. And I promise this video is going to be hopeful and optimistic because we all need it. <laughs> we all need to have hope. And um, we're going to work towards hope at the by the end of this video. That's my goal here for us. But first, I want to talk a little bit about well, honestly, the theme that I've been having, that I've been seeing a little bit this week is, and, and not just um, in my client life, my work life, but just kind of more broadly in people I know and even within my own family, is that um, it's interesting how holidays, and we all, you all watching this video know it's true, that, you know, holidays and being with people that we have relationships with or gatherings, um, that have this common thread, I think brings up stuff in people. I know it brings up stuff in people. And what I find really interesting is that a lot of people, again, not just clients that I've worked with so far this week, it's there's this theme of this discomfort and recognizing how few people that we're around are really willing to talk about the truth. And so for our purposes, um, I've had all, all kinds of conversations about this this week, um, personally and then professionally, like I said. I think one of the things that you all are going to learn about yourselves, at least I learned about myself, is that it's there's an unease a lot of us carry when um, we're around people and we find that like not too many people talk about um, honestly, more deep, meaningful things. I think that's really difficult for us. Um, I'm just speaking us as a collective of maybe sensitive people who possibly have struggles with food or weight or body image or even some chronic health things is because we've been in situations that weren't right or spoken about and that's a heavy burden for people who are sensitive and know the truth and it kind of comes out through food stuff. So what I am saying all this is because if you've been struggling like going into this past holiday or coming out of it feeling like what just happened to me and why am I focused more on food and why do I feel more um, tripped up with my food lately um, or um, why am I more triggered by people's diet talk when I have no intention I want to go to go back there or I'm noticing I'm turning intuitive eating in intuitive eating into a diet again or I'm getting more hyper focused on exercise or whatever it is or calorie counting it's like what what's going on here it's possibly because something in you is getting like a little tripwire of like oh this truth again this frustration again of what is going on in this world around me what is going on here why are people so not not awake and the truth is it's hard it's hard to let yourself feel the feelings of like am I the only one that sees this stuff that like like weight is such a, a surface thing and not what pe what makes people valuable or or what makes me want to be around other people. So why do I still have it stuck in my head that people care so much about what I look like? Um, so the truth about weight and surface conversations is that's where most people feel comfortable being because that's what's um, around us the bubble that we can feel like that we're okay in and not have to knock up against our own stuff because it's painful to look at your own stuff and so I'm just bringing some hope to this you know the, to this maybe realization you've had the last couple days it's like oh okay maybe there's been something around me and my um, just being around people that I'm recognizing that not, people are not only obsess about the surface stuff like food and weight a lot and that's disturbing and kind of an affront to my own heart or soul or system. And that maybe I've actually kind of known this all along. It's just that now I'm awake to it and it's even more difficult. So um, I have her permission to talk about this because I talked to her about it this morning and she gave me permission. Uh, I have a client and she's like, why was I like calling myself, um, you know, and, and fat and not, you know, dealing with and instead of in a more productive way, which is I feel fat means I feel uncomfortable. And regardless of the size of my body, like my life is going, I mean, go okay. And what is maybe not going okay. I have some strategies and skills to deal with. Like, why is that so loud? And, you know, 
it's hard to sit with the truth like I just spent a whole weekend with a whole bunch of people that I dearly care about that aren't very awake and, and that really grieves me um, and I'm not gonna do anything about my weight or my food I'm gonna keep on keeping on with what I'm doing but like how come so quickly we jump back into that old thing and I said well one <laughs> it's it's a place where we can feel like fits in with the norm to, criti be, to be critical. It's a way we can try to avoid being criticized by doing something about it, even if you're just thinking about it. Um, and when you don't think the way everybody thinks, um, until we continue to grow our own inner sense of like where our um, okayness comes from, which is not everybody, else appro is everybody else's approval, um, we're gonna scramble for something until we have more faith. Um, in our own inherent okayness and walk through life knowing that like it's not easy walking this way it's just so not and I know this is a very philosophical video today but that's where I want you to have your hope is that like you're not alone you're probably watching this video thinking oh I'm not the only one that has these weird conversations with themselves no you don't and um, it's one of those things that I want you to have hope that you're not the only one working through that to like recognize above even all the food and body stuff is this stuff. And I know that we have to do the work first of like, oh, I'm catching myself turning intuitive eating into a diet. I'm catching myself thinking that like, um, whatever like I'm feeling physically by eating what my body needs is too much. And I know it's not true. So I need to lean and orient towards safety and goodness and getting it there versus running back to the, the faux shelter of, um, any kind of diet mentality stuff because that's where all um, the um, what I used to think was safety was really just asleepness and we can't go back so this this video is just an encouragement I hope to know that you know that you're not alone that there's other people who think this way who are waking up and recognizing not just where people are asleep from the food and diet perspective it's where a lot of things that and a lot of people you're around are asleep to just hardly being able to have like a deeper conversation about something and sometimes that's what we're really hungry for is just to acknowledge like oh I just need somebody to like really sit and be and let's talk about something more real and I think that's sometimes why we scramble back so at least that's a point of connection and I want to tell you that no you don't you're not gonna get what you're looking for there and that's okay that it feels sad sometimes the hope is remembering like uh, you're on the right path and you're not alone and all you need to do is is reach out so reach out in the groups that you know that t that speak this way and talk this way and I guarantee the more you're open in your life to walking this way you're gonna start bumping into other people that feel just the same way and life works that way sometimes that once you're more solid in yourself and your own food and weight recovery and you're solid and like this is who I am like I don't want to really just do what everybody else does when you're really like staking the ground about that and you even ask for I'd like to be around some more people like that then you might find that that starts to show up so that's where your hope is anyway I hope this video helps it's a little different than usual but it was just been coming up so much that I wanted people that maybe that I'm not personally talking to like in you know, the last three or four days to know that those are the conversations that are being had and you're not alone. So anyway, I'll talk to you all real soon. Take care. Bye.